things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how Le Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave, permanently. Bad news just got worse, Sly. Looks like a couple of pieces of the time drive broke off in that crash landing. I need you to track down the missing components ASAP. Fortunately, the advanced trajectorial management processor is still functional, so I was able to calculate their most likely positions. Unfortunately, they seem to have landed in some dangerous terrain. The temporal sprocket appears to have fallen close to some pterodactyl nests. And I'm afraid one of these prehistoric penguins might have gotten its flippers on the gravity encabulator. 
Oh, they may look cute, but those little devils are nasty. This isn't gonna be a simple pickup, Sly. Get some photos of their precise locations, and I'll analyze them to formulate a plan. But watch your back. I don't think we're the first guests at this party. See the structure on that mountain? It appears to be some kind of conveyor belt system. Definitely not Ice Age technology. Get a picture of that machinery, too. I smell a rat. Or possibly something even worse. Bentley, uh, have you heard anything from Carmelita? Sorry, Sly. I think maybe she just needs to cool off. For what it's worth, I'm just as worried about Penelope. I know, pal. And we're gonna get her back. I promise. Back when I don't look so appetizing. I don't know, Bentley. These little guys don't look so bad to me.
conveyor belt does not belong here. The question is, what is it being used for? Sly, I'm taking something up. Look for a building that resembles an arena, and let's take a closer look. My thermal vision is picking up a lot of activity there. You got it, pal. Masterpiece for you. Yeah. Ah. Fly, get a shot of that guy, and maybe we could identify him. Okay, no way this guy dug that bling up around here. Now oh, you're absolutely right, Sly. He definitely doesn't belong here. This whole place demands an investigation. Let's start by figuring out who we're dealing with here. Good job, Sly. Now head back to the hideout. <laughs> <laughs> 